Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko. If you've been following along, I've recently moved here to Kuwait and I was happily having my dinner on Thursday night and I bit into a hot chip, a french fry for my American audience and for some reason my tooth broke. Suddenly I started crunching, I'm like, why am I crunching? I'm eating chips, there's no, nothing hard. And it was my tooth. Part of my tooth because I was able to just google like local dentist. I'm hoping it's not going to be too tremendously expensive with whatever needs to be done. Luckily I haven't had any pain but this is my first taste of medical, specifically dental care in Kuwait. So let's see. My parents should not have had me because they both have terrible teeth and have passed those genetics on to me so my mouth is full of fillings. So that's all I can see is just black filling that's left and there is a little bit of like white tooth on the inside but it really is quite unfortunate looking. Well I'm just walking back after my first day, of course I'm as numb as anything. <laughs> what am I going to have for dinner? Because look at the time now. I really should have thought about this before I left and had something beforehand. Anyway they've given me a fake tooth temporarily overnight because I'm going back tomorrow yippee oh goodness oh my life is so exciting right now good great okay day two leaving the clinic yet again <laughs> my smile is ridiculous <laughs> Anyway, he's basically just prepared my tooth. Pre prepared my tooth. <laughs> prepared my tooth. <laughs> so, going back tomorrow. Yay! Three days in a row. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Exhausted. <laughs> Sorry, I just make myself look so ridiculous. So, this one's dead, obvious. This is temporary. So, <laughs> Now I have to visit three. It's so, I was there so long, two hours. And I feel like it looks really fake. This new one, I'm a little bit now. Oh, but I have to go back again. Okay, what have we learned? Get checked before you leave home. So you don't have this three weeks into your new home. I mean, it's been good for being able to explore the neighborhood, find some new places that I might not necessarily walk down these streets. So I'm just like a bit over it. Can I just say, I have to laugh at myself as I'm editing this video. I clearly was over it because I never finished the video. <laughs> so here I am in editing mode now going, huh. What happened? It was three days in a row where I went and basically he was preparing my tooth for a root canal which I've never had in my life. I feel like I've been in a dentist chair a lot because I have a lot of fillings. I've never had fake teeth before but I now have one where he's put it in and it's been fine. I guess the lesson for you is as a traveller, in my case someone who lives and works abroad, uh, even though the outbreak has showing us this it is really important to have an emergency front this was an emergency my tooth broke it was so early into me coming to Kuwait that I didn't have I hadn't been paid so this had to come out of pocket I didn't have my new insurance card or anything from my employer like I was quite new but of course it needed to be dealt with also google symptoms don't you and to breaking a tooth that can lead to infection terrible terrible so I just wanted to go over how much it cost me and yeah why it's important for you to have an emergency room because these kind of things happen and the dentist did say that even if I had because I hadn't gone to the dentist at home in New Zealand before I left I think I'd gone it just hadn't been that long since I'd gone previously I must have gone in China but I right at this moment I can't remember when so maybe they wouldn't have picked up that it was so in so close to breaking okay so I got a filling which was 40 kd it was one bill then because of how I learned this because they match the tooth color of the fake tooth to the rest of your teeth 
So it was my choice to get my all of my teeth bleached so that then the new one could be matched. <laughs> I've never had whitening before through a dentist. Obviously I've used, you know, Colgate freaking products and, and it was so sore. Oh my goodness, I can, like that shocking pain. If you've had it, you'll know what I mean, but it was, and then I had to be on like a white diet for like three days. We had like milk, chicken. What else did I have? Yogurt. Um, oh, bread. Yeah, I did have some hummus. That's why she was fine, hummus and bread. But it, um, you know, so that it doesn't stain. Uh, I don't always drink a cup of tea, so that was fine for those days. I just stuck to water, but oh, the shooting pain because you're just so sensitive after the lasering. Oh, I don't know if I'd get it again, but I really was happy with the results, but oh, that pain, oh my God. So included in that was my choice to get um, laser tooth lightning. So in total, in addition to this bill of 40 KD, it was 455 KD. So that broken down was an oral exam, panoramic film, if you know that means x-ray, x-ray 10 KD, that seems awfully steep. Cast, post and core, bicuspid root canal, all porcelain crown, oh, sorry it's called a crown, not a fake tooth. And, uh, and home bleaching. So it was quite a chunk of change. So that's, that's the best part of 500 KD on being less than a month in the country. So I was not impressed. And it meant then my first couple, I think, of pays, I was very conservative because I wanted to pay myself back into my emergency fund. I mean, it's always great to have an emergency fund. This is the time when I would use it. But then you're like, oh, I've got to pay myself back. So then it's like, well, I'm not going to do anything new or anything too exciting because I'd rather pay myself back. <laughs> and that's what's important. Also, part of being new somewhere is that you don't always know where to go. That was just close. I could walk from my apartment to that dentist. That's why I picked it. Turned out it wasn't Kuwaiti. My dentist was from Lebanon. He was lovely. And of course, I saw a lot of them. <laughs> and that was, that was nice. But I did learn from my dentist that when I do want bleaching again, or any dental work, I should fly to Turkey. So I was like, oh, thank you. I mean, I already want to go to Turkey, but now there's even more reason to go. A dental treatment, fantastic. As much fun as it is to go in other places, it can also be quite stressful. Always living and learning. Anyway, health problems do happen. Um, if you haven't seen my videos in China when I got pneumonia, please check them in. I'll put them in the description box below. Obviously not a great way to start living somewhere new, but these things happen and I guess that's why I, why I made this video ultimately, even though I didn't say it earlier and in the pieces that I did film because I was running to the dentist every day after work. So I'm exhausted and tired of having my mouth open and I can see why I'm just like I'm fed up now like this isn't fun but I know it needs to be done and I'm glad I got it done. I haven't had any problems at all with it. Obviously we'll visit my dentist when I go home and see what she has to say. It's important to make sure you've got a little cushion for things like this also because with some insurance you have to pay first and then they and then the insurance company will reimburse you so you have to have it to be able to pay to get the service that you need and I guess I just a dentist I'm just not mucking around with it like you just need it and you saw earlier the chunk thing that, that came out <laughs> So yeah, I certainly wasn't, and I, I was more concerned clearly in the clips that I took because I'm like zoomed in, I was clearly very conscious of how bad it looked. 
and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider subscribing because I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. This one, definitely. <laughs> Go to your dentist before you leave and make sure you've got an emergency fund because things happen. This was super unfortunate because I was just so new. I said my spending for the next couple of months had to be completely readjusted to pay myself back so that then I was ready, I'm ready for the next emergency. It's not, it's not beautiful, it's not, <laughs> but it's just part of living and I guess it would be the same, like even if I lived at home, I still would have broken the tooth and I still would have had to pay out of pocket. 